The simplest way that I can describe entropy is with a glass of ice water. Ice is very ordered, and ice goes from an orderly state to a disorderly state as it melts. This means that the entropy in this closed system of ice water is increasing as a system. Heat goes from high temperature to low temperature. When I wake up in the morning, I go and put my makeup on, things start scattering about. The bathroom goes from order to disorder. Entropy is increasing, folks. It is a law of thermodynamics and it is a law of nature. We are all in it together. Except that a system is always going to be going from order to disorder. In general, things are always getting more disorderly. All jobs in this world can be described in two words, entropy decreasers. You're trying to put order to the disorder. Accepting that that is just a thing and that is the way life is, is very freeing to me. Now, how does that help with uncertainty? There's a lot of things that are uncertain in this world, but there are things that you can put certainty to. Say you work for eight hours. Say you have a couple meetings in there and you have some free time. How about you bound that free time? You make an intentional effort to do an activity during that free time. There are lots of variables right now in life, but whenever you make them more constant, you are making more certainty in your life. And I can tell you that intention is huge, and intention is literally an antidote to uncertainty. All right guys, I got another pro tip for you here about entropy. You can decrease the entropy in your life at home as well. You can do this every day. First of all, you can do it by cleaning up your kitchen, going from disorder to order. You are decreasing entropy in that space. Next, wash your car. Every time you go out and look at a dirty car, you're looking at disorder. When you wash that car off, you're going from a disordered state to an orderly state. Vacuum your floor, pick your weeds. All of this stuff is decreasing entropy in your home. And when you decrease entropy, the more you do this, the more you provide order to chaos, and the more you quell uncertainty in your life because you are turning those uncertain things into certain things with your intentional effort. If you got this far, I'd like to say congratulations. You're on your way to decreasing entropy in both life at home and at work. And that, folks, will help you with uncertainty. And what will also help you with uncertainty is subscribing to this. So please do that and like the video. And more is on its way as we go to the third law of thermodynamics.